Hi everybody, my name is Justin Stoney and I'm the founder of New York Vocal Coaching here in New York City. Welcome to episode 45 of Voice Lessons to the World, the show where we want to help you guys as singers by answering your questions from all over and I'll give you a chance to ask questions later, but our question for this week comes from Reg B in Vancouver, British Columbia and Reg writes, Dear Justin, I'd love for you to do an episode on classical singing specifically on what is the passaggio and how do I navigate it well? Wow, great Reg, thank you so much for that question. Yes, we will do that episode right now uh, on the passaggio. This is a very common term, it's used in classical singing, but actually I want you guys to know this no matter what uh, style of singing you're doing. Today we will do a little bit more of a classical uh, episode, but this is for all singers uh, everywhere, really, this idea of the passaggio. So what is the passaggio? The passaggio comes from the bel canto singing tradition of vocal technique uh, and uh, an understanding of the voice. And if you guys don't know about bel canto, I really hope you go and research this a little bit or find a teacher that understands bel canto. So much of what we know about vocal technique comes from bel canto. It's not everything, but it's really, really one of the very finest vocal technique systems in the whole world. So check out bel canto. But it's an Italian tradition, the Italian vocal school. And passaggio, is an Italian word that means passage, okay? Now I know you guys uh, know a little bit now about vocal registration. We have different registers of our voice. There's the chest voice, the head voice, the falsetto, the mix, vocal fry, uh, flagellate, whistle voice. There's many registers and we're going to talk about all of them in great detail as we go forward into the future. But the registers of your voice also have transitions between them. And usually the lower mechanism, often chest voice, and the higher mechanism, often head voice, has a moment of transition, which is that passaggio, right? Transitioning between the vocal registers. So there's a lot of terms that, that are sometimes used to describe this. There is the passaggio, also like I say, known as the passage or transition or bridge, or break, or that place in my voice where it cracks so horribly and miserably that I want to crawl into a hole and never show my face to the world ever again. There's tons of terms that we can use to describe that passaggio event. But what I'm going to do today is show you first with a song how to navigate the passaggio and then give you tips on how to navigate it and then give you an exercise too for men and women on how to navigate the passaggio, okay? Now, this song here is called O del mio dolce ardor. It's a very common uh, Italian art song that many of you classical singers may know. I'm gonna navigate the passaggio in this song to show you what that sounds like. This is by Gluck. <laughs> note in there, that brahma, that is a note that is right on the male uh, primo passaggio, which is right around an E or F. This happens to be an F. Now, here's some things that could go wrong. That did not go wrong. That was good. Uh, but here's some things that could go wrong. I could go brahma and go into falsetto brahma and not be able to connect that. That's one thing. I may lower my larynx too far and do brahma and have too deep of a sound. I may raise my larynx up brahma and have too tight of a sound. I also may spread my lips and do brahma and get too wide of a sound. I may also do brahma and get too loud on my passaggio and that would also not be good to have to change the volume. So there's tons of ways that I could uh, navigate a passaggio poorly, but really, bramato the one where nothing really changes and the air zips inside my head, that's the one that we're looking for, for navigation of the passaggio. So let me give you some flat out tips for navigating that passaggio region, okay? We want to 
stay narrow, right? We don't want to get wider, okay? We want to use nasal resonance, right? In fact, we don't want to lift the soft palate too far. We want to have some hmm and nasal resonance in the sound. Like I say, we don't want to get louder. We don't want to have to push the voice past the passaggio area. We also don't want to use more breath. That's a similar thing, but not quite the same. We don't want to push more breath across the passaggio. We don't want to go to falsetto. We don't want to get too light or, for females, uh, too heady of a head voice, right? We don't want to get too light or airy of a phonation right at the passaggio. We want it to stay solid enough. And then finally, we don't want to jam the larynx uh, down. We don't want to have too dark or too heavy of a sound. And of course, we don't want to have too lifted or squeezed of a sound with the larynx. So these are all uh, great tips, I think, for what things to think about uh, that could be going wrong uh, with your passaggio region and how to write them. Now, I'm going to give you an exercise. First, we're going to have men coming up, and then I'm going to switch and change to the ladies going up and give you an exercise that helps you do some of those things that I just mentioned, just built into the exercise. All you have to do is do it. You don't have to even think because it's built into the exercise. What we're gonna do is ma on on, okay? Ma on the bottom, something wider, and then on on, something smaller, slimmer, and more nasally resonant on the top. Take a listen to this. Ma on on on. Okay, the bottom is wider and the top is smaller and more contained. That's what we're looking for for the passaggio region. So this exercise is going to help you to do that. Now, here's guys with me right here on ma on on, and I'll tell the ladies when we're switching to you. Okay, but here is guys with ma on on. Here it is. Ma on on on. Nice. Good for you. Now here's a male passaggio. Awesome. Fantastic. Ma on on on. Yes. Ma on on on. Fantastic work, guys. So you can see that we use the same qualities of how to navigate the passaggio as we go across it. And then that's how you're gonna bridge the gap into your high notes and give them size without giving them strength. Now, we're gonna switch right to ladies. And we're gonna go up way high, ladies. Uh, and you're gonna do the exact same thing. The very same concepts apply for you. So, let's start ladies right here. Okay, here you go. Passaggio area for women. Ma on on on. Yes. Good stuff. Keep it up. Ma on on on. Spectacular. So I hope you guys now understand in greater detail what the passaggio is and how you can navigate it. We got some great tips there and also some uh, practical exercises for you to feel that slimmer, more contained shape that's gonna help you bridge that gap and not have that miserable cracking or shifting in the voice right when you don't want it to the most. So, uh, Reg and all, I hope that's been helpful for you guys today as singers. If you have questions that you'd like to see us answer on the show, you can send an email to questions at voicelessonstotheworld.com. We just encourage you not to lose that joy. Don't lose that passion. Get with a great voice teacher in your area that can show you classical technique or contemporary technique or hopefully both. And don't let anybody ever tell you you can't sing. You and I both know that is not true. 
you guys are in the New York City area, you can come visit us at www.newyorkvocalcoaching.com or check us out on Skype. We do Skype uh, lessons with singers from all over the world. You can also, uh, I encourage you guys to download the free app, uh, Voice Lessons to the World, the app. Tons of free articles, tips, resources right there for you guys that hopefully help you take your singing to the next level. Or you can visit www.voicelessonstotheworld.com. I'm Justin Stoney. We'll see you next time.